Hello everyone, my name is Keely. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to talk about my most anticipated releases for quarter one of 2024. So usually I do releases by season, but I felt like it was better to do it by quarter so I could go over the entire year. So for quarter one, we're going to cover January, February, and March, and there are quite a few new releases that I'm looking forward to. So if you don't know or haven't watched my channel, I read a variety of genres. So in these new releases, you will see romance, horror, thriller, young adult, adult, a variety of things and I'm really excited about each and every one of these. Obviously they're on my most anticipated. Now I will say a little disclaimer, the dates that I'm giving you are subject to change because things in publishing are always changing but these are the dates that I have as of right now. So let's start with January and I have eight releases I'm going to talk about. So the first book comes out on January 9th and that is Dungeons and Drama by Christy Boyce. So this is a young adult rom-com that sounds really funny but also a little nerdy. So we follow a young girl who dreams of being the next director on Broadway but one day she gets in trouble for taking her mom's car without permission and so she is grounded and forced to work in her dad's game shop. So one day she wants one of the nerdy guy employees, Nathan, to cover one of her shifts, so she promises him that she will flirt with him to make his nerd crush jealous. But she doesn't realize that this entails joining his Dungeons and Dragons game. So this, like I said, sounds really nerdy but fun and all of the things I love in one book. I also really love this cover. Now I am not somebody that's really into Dungeons and Dragons, but I love the idea of it and I feel like I would love to get into it or learn more about it it and this book hopefully will help me along the way. Next also on January 9th is Mislaid and Parts Half Known by Seanan McGuire. This is book number nine in the Wayward Children series and this book in particular is set in the dinosaur land which I am so excited about. I am completely caught up with the series so I'm eagerly anticipating this release and this one, the dinosaur world, we have seen glimpses of in other books and this is one of the worlds that I really wanted to get to know so I cannot wait to see it. So this next book allegedly comes out on January 15th, but I'm not sure it does because it's gotten pushed back so many times and Goodreads says a different date than Amazon says, but I'm going to go ahead and mention it anyway. And that is The Bride Bet by Tessa Dare. This is book four in the Girl Meets Duke series. I am caught up on this series and I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is a historical romance series that we follow um, a different friend from this group in each book. And I have loved the series so much. Much. The first book actually made my top 10 of last year, so I can't wait for this to book for this book to come out whenever it does. Next on January 16th, I have The Fury by Alex Michaelides, which I actually have already read. I'm trying to stay on top of my arcs. So this is kind of a murder mystery. We have these group of people, and they're all kind of celebrities and famous, and they go spend some time on this private Greek island, and one of them ends up murdered. So this book is really fascinating with the writing, and this was one of my most anticipated releases because it is Alex Michaelides. And so even though I've read it, I am keeping it on this list just in case you didn't know it was coming out. And now you do. Next on January 16th is Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. Now I don't want to go too much into the synopsis for this book because I have given five stars to Stacey Willingham's other two books that she has out. So I don't want to know too much about this because I just simply want to read it. But a bare minimum synopsis is we follow these girls in college and one of them is really shy and really wants to be accepted by other people. When she gets invited to move in with this group of girls, she accepts it, somebody dies, another person is murdered. That's all I know. That's all I'm going to know because like I said, I love Stacey Willingham's books. So this is one of my legit most anticipated releases, not just of the quarter, but of 2024. Next coming out on January 23rd is The Breakup Tour by Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegman Broca. That is so hard for me to say. So this book sounds really interesting. I think this is an adult romance where we follow this girl and she is a singer, she's a celebrity, and she has this breakup song kind of go viral and get a lot of publicity, and her ex-husband says that it is about him, and she does the one thing she thinks she will never do, which is call her ex-college boyfriend. So this might be like a second chance romance book. The funny thing is, I always put these authors' books on my most anticipated, and I have never actually read one of their books, but all of them sound like something that I would love. So I definitely need to finally read at least one of their books to see if I actually like their books. So I should continue to put them on these lists. And maybe this one will be the first one. We'll see. But I also really love this cover. 
Also coming out on January 23rd is Improbable Meet Cute, and this is an Amazon short story collection by a bunch of really popular romance authors. I have the list on my laptop here. So we have Christina Lauren, Abby Jimenez, Sally Thorne, Jasmine Guillory, Ashley Poston, and Soraya Wilson. So I have read from half of these authors, and the other half are people I haven't read from. And interestingly enough, Sally Thorne's on here, and I have said I will never read from her, but I will be reading this collection, and maybe I will prove my own self wrong. But I really love these short story collections that Amazon does. I read a horror one last year, and now this one is all about romance and meet cutes, and some of my favorite authors, like Ashley Poston, is a part of this. And I just feel like they're going to be so cute and so much fun, but it's also a great way to introduce yourself to new romance authors where you can potentially read their full length novels as well. And the last one for January comes out on January 30th, and that is The Invocations by Crystal Sutherland. This is the same author who wrote House of Hollow, which I did enjoy. I didn't love it as much as everyone else did, but I did enjoy it. So I'm really looking forward to this one, especially because it sounds very spooky and creepy and perfect time for fall. Even though this comes out in January, I'm still going to read it this month. And we follow this girl whose sister was killed by a serial killer, and she will do anything it takes to bring her sister back, even if that means joining the occult. So that's all I'm going to really know. Uh, we have serial killers, we have murder, we have doing whatever it takes for a loved one. So I am there, I am sold, and I know Crystal Sutherland has really atmospheric writing, so I know this one is probably going to really grip me, and I cannot wait. Moving into February, I have six books I want to talk about, and the first one is ASAP by Axie O. Now, I have read a book from this author before, and I really, really enjoyed it, and it brought so much joy and happiness to me, so I'm hoping this book does the same. So this book is actually a companion to XOXO, which I didn't even realize until this very moment, but we follow this girl who is training to become a K-pop idol, and she realizes that she really doesn't want to, but that's not her choice to make because her parents have a big reputation to uphold, and she really shouldn't be thinking about her ex-boyfriend, but that's all she is doing right now because her ex-boyfriend is off limits. He is one of the biggest K-pop idols in the world, and when one day his world is rocked by a scandal, she offers to help help hide him away. Oh my goodness, I am here for this. We all know if you are in the K-pop world how much a scandal could ruin your image and affect your entire life, and so I'm interested to see how this is done. The first book reminded me so much of my time living in Korea, and I just feel like this one is going to do the same. And the fact that it's a companion and I didn't even know, I am going to love this. Next on February 6th is Bride by Ali Hazelwood, and I... Can you see my excitement? I don't even know, need to know what this is about, other than the fact it is a vampire werewolf romance. That's all I need to know. That's all I care to know. I have pre-ordered a special signed edition of this. I am so excited. Next on February 13th is The Catch by Amy Leah. This is book three in her Influencer series. Now, I haven't read any of these books, but I do own the first one. It's right over here, and all of these books in this series sound like something I would really like. I'm not going to read too much into the synopsis because this does follow characters that you probably meet in the other books, but I am looking forward to the series as a whole. Next coming out on February 13th is With a Little Luck by Marissa Meyer. Now, once again, I'm discovering this is a sequel, and this is a sequel to Instant Karma. And this is a book that I really um, felt kind of indifferent about, but it has stuck with me. So I'm interested to see what the sequel holds, because I will also read anything from Marissa Meyer. So it seems like this follows a boy who has the gift of being really lucky, but it turns out this is more of a curse when it comes to finding love. So it seems like this is going to be continued temporary with a little hint of magic, which I love books like that. Like I said, I love Marissa Meyer and the first book in this series, I guess, maybe companion duology has really stuck with me. So I'm interested to see what the second one's like. Next on February 20th is A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Faisal. Now this is book one in a new fantasy series. That's right. I am anticipating a fantasy book. What kind of world do we live in? I don't know. But this one has vampires in it, and that is why I am anticipating it. So we follow an orphan girl who her and her gang get caught up in a heist with vampires. So when I see vampires in a synopsis, I am going to add it to my anticipated list. It's just like my fatal flaw, and even though this is fantasy, I'm going to give it a try. 
And finally, on February 27th, we have Grief is for People by Sloane Crossley. This is actually a memoir about Sloane who lost her closest best friend and just her journey through grief. This is something that happened to me and over the last year I have really come into terms with reading more and more about grief and it's really helped me on my journey as well. So reading a memoir about it and seeing if I can relate to somebody else might be really cathartic and I'm really looking forward to this one. Moving into March, I only have five releases to talk about and the first one comes out on March 5th and that is Prom Chanted by Morgan Matson. So Morgan Matson is another author that I will probably pick up anything from and this one seems like a Cinderella retelling with high schoolers going to prom. I am 28 years old and I love reading about prom and maybe it's because I hated my own prom experience so I try to live through these characters and books but I will always love young adult books about prom and I don't know what that says about me but I'm looking forward to this one. Also coming out on March 5th is The Encanto's Daughter by Melissa Dela Cruz and I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember why I was intrigued enough to put this on my list. I feel like I'm always intrigued by Melissa Dela Cruz's books and yet I still once again have yet to pick any up. But this one follows a girl who is next in line for the throne, she's carrying a secret and then something happens and she has to take up the throne. Also coming out on March 5th is Finley Donovan Rolls the Dice by El Cosimano. This is the fourth book in the Finley Donovan series, which most people have given up on, but I am still here. I'm still hanging on by a thread, and I keep saying maybe I'll give up on it, and I don't, and I keep getting pulled back in, so I might be one of the only people reading this one or anticipating it, but I'm going to do it. And coming out on March 16th is Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida Amike Iemide. So this one, once again, has a beautiful, beautiful cover. And in this book, we follow a young girl who's going to a prestigious boarding school when the last thing she expects to happen happens. Her roommate mysteriously goes missing. So I love a boarding school setting. I love a missing girl trope. So we'll see how this one goes and hopefully it's just as beautiful as the cover. So those are all the books that I am anticipating right now for quarter one. Let me know your most anticipated release for the start of this year in case I am missing any really exciting books. If you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave the snowflake emoji. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all my social media links will be down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!